So I'm here with Richard Payne. We're having a look around the studio. Um, Richard's been uh, checking out a bit of uh, augmented reality. What's that all about? Well, well, first off, before we do that, can we just have a quick look around the studio? Yeah. yeah this, little, this camera will follow us around. So this is a bit of augmented reality. We're gonna see that in just a, just a tick. And uh, it's uh, basically, you tell me how you describe it. <laughs> That's pretty, that's pretty much how everybody goes with augmented reality. Yeah. It, it really screws with your brain, there's no yes. doubt about it. Yes. So what it is, is we have a, a painting, and yep. this, this particular painting is to do with the, the building box, blocks of life, the geometry of life, a circle, triangle, and a square. Yeah. When you, and that hangs on your wall, when you take out your phone, download my app, which is a free app, called Payne's 4D Art, then you hold the hold the phone up to the picture. The picture comes off the off the wall and into the room and fills the room virtually. So we're going to have a bit of a bit of a look at that. Um, and we've got another piece of art uh, over here. Um, the this looks much better with the um, with, with the augmented reality. Not much better, but amazing now. Uh, and we'll have a look at with the augmented reality. So this is another this is another piece of art that uh, Rich has been working on. It's um, uh, we'll have a look at that with the um, augmented reality as well. Um, why is it just the next step that we're um, that we're experiencing for art? Come into the shop yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're playing around with the PVO, so uh, yeah. as we're filling you at this yeah. tech. I, th I think they picked that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I? I move that way. And it follows me. Yeah, love, love, I'll, love, love, I'll love, stand yeah. behind you. Oh, there, 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 <laughs> there, there, that yeah. works. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, so yes, it, it's. It's a direction for art. So what it enables you to do is to, with the painting, to tell one part of a story. Yeah. And then through tech, through the technology with the augmented reality, reveal a hidden part of the story or a next part of the narrative. So in, internationally and in, in the art world, um, artists are playing around with this sort of technology, trying to work out what to do with it. And virtual reality in the games world has been around for quite a long time now. And now it's just getting to the stage where um, artists can start to do something serious with it rather than just kill Darth Vader 10,000 times. You'd probably you have more luck with your, your app and whatnot than I have with my Pivio today. <laughs> anyway, I'll we'll take the Pivio off and we'll have a bit of a look at this all bit in reality. So this is the, this is the picture that we're looking at, just a static picture on the wall. And uh, you flash up Richard's augmented reality and I'll follow your phone around there. And this is what we get. We get all that movement there. And you can walk into those things, can't you? And you do yes, that. yes, you can. So, because they're fully 3D virtual. Oh so God, look can... at that. Wow. And that just flows out of the picture. Yes, it does. Wow. Yeah, it does. That's amazing. So, uh, we can go, go into this. So, this is sort of. What's that so... movement? That's like a black and white movie or something. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Well, you can imagine. Well, Flicks. Yeah. Well, you can imagine having this on your wall. Yes. And um, as actually um, one person has done who, who bought a similar piece. Yeah. And he's got it in the dining room. Yeah. So that when, when his guests have a look at it through, through their phone, all of this augmented reality, the virtual part of the painting, comes out over his dining table. God. Has it got anything that flows out on the floor, this one? Uh, no, not this one. No. So this piece here is called The Well Maidens, Richard, and um, it looks like a beautiful painting, um, a little bit of modern, in, with, wrapped up with a bit of Greek work. Um, I'm going to step back into the augmented reality, and uh, we'll uh, see what that looks like. So will you be able to explain that for me, mate? That's yeah, the cool. augmented reality there. There's Richard there. Augmented reality. Right, so what we've got is we've got the oil painting is the Well Maidens, and that's a, that's a Celtic myth. It's about five thousand years old, and there were these maidens who lived by a well. When travellers came along, they would give the travellers water from the well in golden goblets, and they would be refreshed, and off they would go. One day, a nasty thing came along, and um, we can see in the painting as the girls are offering him their, um, their water in the golden goblets and he's just about to take it and he's faced with a decision. He can either 
take it and then like all the other travels and move on or he can do what he did do and that was to rape one of the girls and steal the, steal her gold so and then his men did the same thing and what we can see in the painting is typical uh, symbolized by the black and white floor is he's got a, a good decision or a bad decision and we know that he's going to make the bad decision because that's the myth when that's so when you look at the augmented reality, you can see the result of the violence that they perpetrated. Because unbeknownst to them, the girls were spirits and they were mankind's connection with Mother Earth. So the connection between deer and humans was through that well. And because of the violence he perpetrated, there was, the rivers were polluted, there was disease and famine and pestilence for centuries and centuries. Wow, that's fantastic, mate. You've really uh, knocked that up with that artwork. That is just amazing. So, so the augment... You're right. Yeah, so the augmented reality enables you to see that, that devastation of the trees and things. Yes, I can see the, uh, the, the, the... You've got that stuff pumping through there and that black ash and... Wow, amazing. And the... What's the... What's, he's holding a cup, what's that? In the augmented reality, obviously not the real reality, there's nothing there, but he's holding this uh, cup and there's a bit of steam coming out of it. Is that just a... Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's just that um, sh showing the violence that, that happened. There's some, there's part of that myth, um, some people think that the goblet that they used was the Holy Grail which sort of confuses me a little bit because it was 5,000 years before Christ, but anyway. And um, so that was really just showing that magic. And the main thing that really hit me about this story is it's 5,000 years ago, they knew if you don't look after Mother Earth, we're in trouble. There'll be disease and pestilence and pollution. And here we are 5,000 years later, still doing the same thing and still debating on whether we should look after the planet or not. Wow, wow. Thanks so much for the look around, Richard. Really appreciate it. This is some fabulous mind-bending stuff you got going on here. So uh, thanks again for the tour of the studio. Great, you're welcome, mate. That was Richard Payne, ladies and gentlemen.